All right. Welcome to the non-negotiables to make you unstoppable. And I love this stuff. This because it's like uh, we get to use an app for this and it helps us keep on track. And it's just very uh, it's a really neat thing that I'm about to show you that in this video, we're going to talk about the six non-negotiable things that you do daily to make you unstoppable and they will make your life, uh, they will help build habits that you can, that will last you a lifetime. Okay, and these six things that I'm about to tell you are things that have been tried and tested by tons of big, big name mentors that I've been lucky enough to learn and read about. I've learned them from other people and I have other mentors that I've learned about and they've tried all, and their one common element of all these big guys and women, successful people, in their life, and they're all in different areas of life, the, there's six things that they do on a daily basis that they don't negotiate, like it gets done. And these six habits actually have made them the people they are today, just from the things that they do, these six things they do. And I'm gonna share them with you. And then on top of that, I'm gonna share um, two apps to help you uh, in, instill them and make them like part of your life. So let's get started. So let's, First of all, share my screen so you can see what's going on and we'll go over to here. All right, so the first thing of the six non-negotiables that make you unstoppable, one is gonna be water, okay? So guys, the water is essential to your body at a core level, and so like it, right down to the cellular level. So what I do to make my life easy is I just have one gigantic big bottle of water that's about two liters, at least two liters, and I just drink that all day. I have it at my desk, and then just down that all day, and that will help with not only with your energy, but your weight loss, your uh, brain function, and your workouts. Staying properly hydrated is super key. So that's the first non-negotiable that you're gonna instill into your, your the next eight weeks, and hopefully you continue on with that forever. So do that daily. Next is the food journals, okay? And there's different ways to journal you can do it all kinds of different ways. You can do, you can take pictures of your food that you've been eating. You can write it down in a food journal, like a little diary, notebook, pad, and just take pictures of your notes. And you're gonna send them to me. And I'm gonna, or I'm gonna look at them anyway when we Zoom and meet every week anyway. Okay, or you can use an app. There's different apps called, um, God, there's a whole bunch of them now. Lose It is really good. And the one by Under Armour is really good. Just check your phone app and there's tons of apps. If you like that sort of stuff, and then on top of that, you could just um, you could just email it to me, and then but I'd like you to keep a detailed record of what you've been eating. The easiest way to do it is just uh, mark it down right when you're eating. That way you don't forget anything. Okay, so that would be your third one, and then we're going to look at that line by line every week and make sure that you're eating the proper um, types of foods. Okay, and it will make a huge difference in the end and you'll, be, you'll become super aware of what you're eating and actually you'll notice that your food cravings will go down quite a bit and you'll actually eat a lot healthier. There's a lot of good stuff that comes out of doing it. Sac uh, third is your incantan incant incantations. Okay, we already talked about that in the earlier um, modules. You know, come up with your positive story that you're gonna tell yourself every morning and every night, okay, get emotional about it and you do it daily. Okay, get excited, get emotional, and then it can be really simple, just a couple positive statements. You know, you took, remember we in the last module, we took the negative statements that you might've been telling yourself and you flip them around and you turn them into a positive story for yourself. That's gonna become your new you, your new story. So I want you to make sure you do those daily. Okay, four, now fitness doesn't have to be done daily. In terms of fitness, it can be simple, like the actual workouts, uh, I said four workouts at minimum, a week would be nice, we negotiated. And then if you want, we can get to, if you wanna do five or six, you're feeling ambitious, that would be amazing. But if you're doing four workouts a week, then the other three days, you could go for a walk, you could go for a brisk walk, bike ride, something active outside. It doesn't always have to be a workout. So four proper workouts and then um, maybe two, two brisk walks the other days, and then you could take one day off or do stretching or something, okay? So that doesn't have to be daily. That's the only exception to these. And then of course, connection with family and friends, taking the time to message and connect with friends. 
um, helps boost the good hormones in your body. So take a few minutes every day. And not only that, it's a great way to avoid food cravings. If you're getting food cravings, go and connect with your family or friends, text them, call them for a few minutes. It's a great way to distract yourself. And then number six would be learning. Self-learning, so you'd be, dip, you'd be take 20 minutes every day and read you know, something every day. You just get your mind growing and you'll be able to, um, self-growth is really important to succeeding overall and it will impact your, your fitness as well. So I would pick a favorite book. You know, right now I'm just reading this um, book by Napoleon Hill and you don't have to read, a big secret here guys, you don't have to read it from front to back. You can take a look at the table of contents, okay? Just find the, find, think, read outside the box. I call it read outside the box. Somebody really successful taught me this. You don't go read it from chapter to chapter, start from front to back. Just scroll through the table of contents, find the actual um, chapter or topic that you're actually interested in learning and flip to that page and learn that particular topic. And for the next 20, 30 minutes, that one piece of gold you get out of that, you don't have to read the book from front to back. Because a lot of times people are like, oh yeah, I'm gonna do all this reading, but then they get so bogged down with having to get through the book that you know sometimes the book can have some boring parts to it and then they slow down and they don't get the book done and then they shame themselves because they didn't finish the book. So just break out of all that and try it a new way and just pick the topics you enjoy. Okay, and, in, and right now there's that book I really recommend by Tony Robbins, Body You Deserve. It's a super great, awesome book that would help you in this particular topic. So you might want to pick that up. And uh, yeah, so those are your six non-negotiables, okay? Now, there's a way to track all this stuff. I use an app for, I have Android, but no. I've tried millions of different apps and these are the two that I find work super, super well. And that's why I'm recommending them. Done is the app you can use for Apple iOS, okay? And you go on there, and you just add in the six modules. Download it, it's free, doesn't cost anything, and you just put in six modules, water, food, fitness, da-da-da-da, okay? I'll show you on my phone, I, I have Android, so I'm gonna use, for Android, I'm gonna use Repeat, the Habit Trainer for Android, and it looks like this, okay? Just so you can see what I've done. And I've made those six topics in my phone, okay? So it kind of looks like that. It takes a few minutes to set up, You'll see at the top there, I got, I got um, water and fitness. And then as you do them, you just tick it off. So you tick off, okay, so I got my incantations done, click, click, click. And then at the end of the day, it reminds you if you didn't do it, to go ahead and do it now. So it's a great way to stay on track of being um, doing your stuff daily, and it will really amplify and really push you to be unstoppable through this next eight weeks and it'll help you instill new habits that you can and you can do it for any other habits that you want to do some people do journaling logging stuff like that so that's fine don't worry about it okay so anyways that's your that's your um that is your course module the six non-negotiables that make you unstoppable okay so go ahead and get that done and then i will see you in the next module